So today we're going to be installing the spindle lift on this 1998 Ford Ranger. Step one, remove the wheel. Just rotate the spindle so the brake caliper comes toward you. And then remove the two brake caliper bolts. You don't have to remove the two small caliper slide pin bolts. I just remove the entire bracket and caliper assembly all in one, which is a 15 millimeter bolt. Now take something you can use to hang up the brake caliper. You don't want to let it hang by the brake line. I just hang it up on the upper control arm. Just set that up and then pull the caliper off. Just find a way to hang it up. Now pull this tie rod back out. Now it's time to remove the tie rod. Let's get rid of that cotter pin. Remove the tie rod nut. This one's a 13 sixteenths. Take the nut and thread it back on a couple of turns. Now take a hammer and gently smack on the side of the spindle here while pulling up on the tie rod. There, that's out. Now you're going to have to remove this bearing dust cap. Just take a flat blade screwdriver, hammer, gently tap on it, not too hard while kind of prying it outward. And you've reached about the limit of this side, just rotate it a quarter turn. Just do the other same thing. Around the wheel. You don't want to deform this cap too much. Eventually, you just pry it out. Now remove this cotter pin. Remove the nut retainer, or remove the spindle nut. On this truck, it's a 27 millimeter nut. Take a right angle pick and remove this bearing washer. Same right angle pick, get hold of the bearing, pull it out. And just grab hold of the rotor and hub assembly, just pull it out. Now you have to remove this backing plate. It's held on with three eight millimeter bolts. Now it's time to remove this upper ball joint bolt. Somewhere under this crud is a bolt. Hold the bolt end with a 15 millimeter wrench and rotate the nut, 15 millimeter socket. Tap that bolt completely out. Just use the hammer and gently drive it out. A pair of vice grips. 
get hold of it. Get the upper ball joint out of there. Now it's time to remove the lower ball joint nut. First, get rid of the cotter pin. On this truck, this is a 27 millimeter nut. Take the nut, thread it back on a couple of turns. Get your hammer, grab hold of the spindle, and smack on this face here. All right, now remove the nut. And the spindle will drop down. Now is the perfect time to replace your inner wheel bearing and grease seal. This particular spindle lift kit requires me to change out the outer bearing, which requires to change out the outer bearing race. Maybe your kit won't require you to do that, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. I just use a 3 8 extension, get it down in there, and feel where it hits the race. Take your hammer, just drive it out. Alternate sides. Races out. Take the new race, get it lined up in there. Take your bearing race driver, with the appropriate size attachment. If you don't have one of these, you can rent them free of charge from just about any auto parts store. That's it. Now take the new spindle, get it on the lower ball joint, and then thread that nut in a couple turns. I like to just tighten it down a little bit, not completely tight yet, just all the way snug. Take a pair of vice grips or something and clamp it on the upper control arm. That way you can move it up and down pretty easily. Pull down on it and get that ball stud in place. Sometimes it's necessary to take a hammer and just tap it down a little bit. And take that through bolt, get it in there. Nut on. Tighten it down. Now you can take your hub assembly, get it on the spindle carefully. that grease seals flat. Take the new outer bearing, pack it full of grease. I like to deposit a couple globs of grease in there as well. the bearing in there. I'll take a bearing washer and then spin on the nut. Now we're going to torque down the bearing nut. Tighten the nut to about 300 inch pounds while simultaneously rotating counterclockwise. Once you've reached torque, loosen the nut about 175 degrees and then torque it down again while simultaneously rotating until you hit about 200 inch pounds.
Now insert the nut retainer. Make sure it's lined up with the hole in the spindle. Best you can. Take a new cotter pin. Just insert it through the hole in the spindle. That's on. Remove whatever you use to hang the brake caliper. Now let's get the caliper bracket in place. Use a tiny bit of red Loctite on the caliper bolt threads. Don't go crazy with it, it's gonna never get it off. Start the upper bolt. Before you tighten down the upper bolt, get the lower bolt started. Those are in place, tighten it down. My spec sheet on these bolts say they're torqued between 72 and 97 foot-pounds. So I'm just going to go on the high end of that. Now torque the lower ball joint nut down. I take them down to 100 foot-pounds. And then insert a new cotter pin. If one of these castle nut slots don't line up with the hole, just tighten it down until one does. Put your tie rod in place. Thread its castle nut on. And these I make sure are at least 60 foot pounds. Now insert a new cotter pin. Now take your dust cap, get it lined up pretty well with the hub, and just lightly tap it on. Let's go around the outer circumference of it. Careful not to deform it too much. And that's it, you're done. The other side is the exact same procedure, it's just a mirror image of it.